You should consult your physician or other healthcare professional before performing these tasks or skills to determine if you are able to perform this level of activity safely. This is particularly true if you or your family have a history of high blood pressure or heart disease, or if you have ever experienced chest pain when exercising or have experienced chest pain in the past month when not engaged in physical activity. If you smoke, have high cholesterol, or are obese, or have joint problems that could be made worse by a change in physical activity. If you are experiencing faintness, dizziness, pain, shortness of breath at any time while performing these tasks and skills, you should stop immediately. Stop immediately if anything causes you pain. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to transfer a patient from one surface to another using a transfer board and a slippery sheet. Here are some of the reasons why a clinician may decide to do these methods. Indications for a transfer board or a slippery sheet include a patient with absent lower extremity strength or minimal upper extremity strength, a patient with full paralysis of both upper and lower bodies, a patient who is unconscious or is in comatose, and transportation to and from different beds in the hospital. Here are some safety considerations. Consider any position precautions. Ensure lines and tubes are moved to the side you are transferring to. A leader should be clearly identified for the transfer team and um, have clear communication with the team during the transfer. Maintaining proper body mechanics as well as maintaining a proper speed during your transfer. And remember to always transfer from a high to low surface. Adjust the table height to ensure safe body mechanics as best as possible for all the clinicians completing the transfer with preference towards the shortest person. Designate a leader the leader will initiate a lateral roll into a sideline position with hand control at the scapula and pelvis. If possible, bend the patient's knees and cross his or her arms. The clinicians on the other side will slide the board underneath the patient as far as possible. The leader will carefully roll the patient back into a supine position on top of the transfer board. The leader should ensure the patient is centered on the transfer board by slightly shifting the patient's shoulder and pelvis. And if necessary, the clinicians on the other side will initiate a lateral roll towards them to better position the patient in the center of the board. Adjust the table height so the target surface is adjusted slightly below the height of the starting surface. The clinicians on the other side will grab the transfer board with both hands using an underhand grip. The body should be in a wide base squat position with a neutral back and elbows near the torso. The leader will initiate a count on from three. On one, the clinicians on the other side will pull and the leader will push simultaneously towards the target table. Once the patient is in the target position, the clinicians will initiate a lateral roll into a sideline position with hand control at the scapula and pelvis. The leader will remove the transfer board from beneath the patient. The clinicians will then carefully roll the patient back into a supine position. It is important to maintain proper body mechanics and ensure the patient is comfortable and safe throughout the entire transfer. If your patient is conscious, talk to him or her through the steps to decrease anxiety about the transfer. Explain to the patient that you will be transferring him or her from one surface to another by using a slippery sheet. Adjust the patient's table height so the clinicians use proper body mechanics when performing the transfer. Also, make sure the surface that the patient is transferring to is at a lower height. Designate a leader for the transfer. Roll the patient from supine to sideline facing the leader's side. In sideline, have the other clinicians tuck half the slippery sheet well underneath the patient's body. Roll the patient onto their back, 
then roll the patient to the opposite side so they are side lying facing the other clinicians. On the leader side, pull the sheet out from underneath the patient so that it is straight and tight. Roll the patient onto their back into supine and ensure the sheet is supporting the patient's neck and pelvis. Using a supinated grip, prepare to transfer the patient. On the count of three, the leader will initiate the transfer. The leader's side will push using their body and the opposing side will pull towards them. This will move the patient on the slippery sheet from one surface to another. Roll the patient into side line towards the leader. Support the patient at the levels of the scapula and the pelvis. The other clinicians will tuck the sheet underneath the patient, and the patient will go from side lying facing the leader to supine, then back to side lying facing the other direction. The leader will then slide out the sheet from underneath the patient. Clinicians will carefully roll the patient back into supine position.